Welcome to Irving Bay TV. We're on air from 6 a.m. till 10 p.m., giving you the latest from your area on the Bay Big Screen. Scotland's greatest Olympian, Sir Chris Hoy, has confirmed he's retiring from competitive cycling. It means he won't be racing in the velodrome which bears his name at next year's Commonwealth Games in Glasgow. Scotland might surprise you. You can take in everything, from standing stones to nights that are really jumping, or performances with a twist. We put shows in castles, and castles in shows. And where better to wind down than up a tree? So this year, surprise yourself. Visit Scotland. I'm here because I'm the winner of the wind vane competition. It's going to get put on top of the Trinity Church. My mum's so proud. This was the first stage in which I expanded into the more people, but then I added the north, south, east and west. And then I thought it would be nice to add that bit into the bottom. So all different ages and different heights and sizes to symbolise that like, it's good to be different and we can all get along. The attack has done well, beaten his man. Hits it well. Well, he saved it, it's still in play. And he's in there with a the header. Into the goalkeeper's midriff.
Hello and welcome to the Irving Film Club, where we give you all the latest from the big screen. This week we're reviewing a future animated classic. Wreck-It Ralph is tired of playing the bad guy and living in the shadow of his game's namesake hero, Fix-It Felix Jr. On the 30th anniversary of the classic game, upset by a party held in Felix's honour, Ralph goes turbo and embarks on a journey into Arcadium. Out to prove his mettle, the clumsy rogue inadvertently unleashes a viral enemy that threatens the future of the gaming world. 